Hello, this is in continuation to my first video. In the first video, you have already studied the word processor definition, some of the examples of word processor like MS Word, LibreOffice, and Google Doc, and the uses of word processor. In this video, what are we going to learn? Here, we are going to learn how to open MS Word, means I'll be telling you the different ways of opening MS Word. Then I'll be telling you the different components of a Word window. Then we will learn how to create a document. We we'll learn how to save a document and opening a document. And somewhere in between, we'll also talk about one of the features of MS Word, that is Word Wrap. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Whenever we have to open MS Word, what we need to do first is either you can double click on the icon which is present on the desktop and then you can wait for probably 10 seconds for it to get open. Once it gets open, you will see a dialog box. You can just click on this close button and that is how you can open MS Word. Second method of opening is you can simply click on the start button of your Windows 10 operating system. Then you can just make use of the scroll bar to scroll down through the various programs which are there on your computer to Microsoft Office. Just click on it and you will see the various products of Microsoft. So here you will just look for Microsoft Word 2010. Just click over it and again your Word window will appear. Click on the cancel button of the pop-up and now I'll be showing you the third way of opening MS Word program that is you can simply type in the search bar given below. Either you can write win word or you can write MS Word and then you can just simply click on it or press the enter key. The MS Word program will open for you. Again clo closing the dialog box for you and then closing the application. Moving further, next, when you know how to open MS Word program, then you should also know the different components of a window. So the first one is when we talk about it, then the first thing that you see is starting from the top, that is quick access toolbar. Quick access toolbar is right here. Okay, and then it also has a small button. That means you can add and remove programs from the quick access toolbar. By default, we have save button, undo and redo buttons on quick access toolbar. Likewise, we have the topmost bar in the Microsoft Word window, which is called as your title bar. This title bar contains two things. First, it contains the name of the document and second, it contains the name of the application. Then the same title bar also contains three buttons that is the minimize, restore and close button. Just below the title bar, you have the file tab and along with file tab, you have the menu bar. That is, it has various menu like the home menu, insert, page layout, reference, mailing, review, view and add-ons. Just below the menu bar, you have ribbon. This entire portion is called as the ribbon. This ribbon has various options, various buttons that helps in improving how your text is looking and then just below that you have two rulers the first one is the horizontal ruler and the second one is the vertical ruler which you can see here then apart from this it also has two scroll bars the first one is the vertical scroll bar which you can see right on the right side of the screen and then you have a horizontal scroll bar which you can see at the bottom of the screen then this white area where you type the text is called as your document area. Then in the end, the lowermost bar is called as the status bar. This status bar tells us how many pages are there in our document, how many words are there in our document, and it is in which language. Then it also has view buttons. That means how you want your document to look like then you can also change or control the size of your document by using the zoom control slider. So these were the different components. 
Now moving forward, we know how to open MS Word. We know what are the components of MS Word. So now I'll be telling you how you can create your document using MS Word. So for that, I need you all to watch this small video. In this, I'm going to create a new document. So I just clicked on File, New, selected the blank document and clicked on Create. Once I did this, automatically a new document has been created. Apart from this, you can also press some key combinations to create a new document that we'll talk about in the end of this lesson. Moving forward, after typing, children, you should also know as to whenever you are typing, your text keeps shifting towards the right side. Now look closely in this screen, what is happening as I'm typing, my cursor is moving away from the left hand side and it is moving towards the right hand side, right? And now as it reaches to the end of the screen or end of the document, then see what happens. End of the document means whenever you are typing, so as the cursor is moving, towards the right side so there will be a point where it will come to the end of that line so the moment the cursor reaches to the end of that line or of the document it will automatically shift to the next line see while i was typing i did not press the enter key okay i was automatically brought down to the next line so this feature of ms word which brings us automatically to the next line without pressing the enter key is called as the word wrap feature of MS Word. After this, once you have typed, once you know what is word wrap feature, you should know how you can save your document. So for saving your document, we are simply going to open MS Word. And after opening MS Word, I'm going to increase the size of my text so that it is readable by you all. And now we are going to save our document. Now before saving, it is important to create our document, right? So we will first create our document by talking about as to why it is important for us to save our document. So then we usually save our document so that we can use it whenever we want to. If suppose you have created a letter today for your friend and after a few days, again, a friend is there who happens to have his birthday and you want to write a letter again, then you can make use of the same letter that you wrote one week before, right? So that is the importance of saving a document. Now quickly see the steps. For that, we go to file tab then we click on the save as option. Next, the save as dialog box appears and then you can give a nice file name. For example, uh, this tutorial is for saving a document. So I will write save a, saving a doc. And then as you can see right now, it is being saved in the documents folder. And let us say that I want to save it on the desktop. So I will select the location from the different locations shown on the left side of my dialog box. So from here, I will select desktop. And once the desktop is selected, I can see the location above and just click on the save button. So that is how you can save your document. Now, after saving the document, we also need to learn as to how can we open our document, right? So for opening the document, we simply open MS Word and initially you will see in the recent document itself, you will see your document, like whatever document you make changes in it, those appear in the recent document. And if suppose you do not see, then you click on the open button. And then again, a open dialog box will appear. See the location, it is showing that documents location. You, you remember that we saved our document on the desktop, so we'll simply click on desktop and now we can look for our document. I'll just scroll down to look for my document and here is my document saving a doc. I'll simply click on open. 
the moment I'll click on open automatically it will open my saved file next we come to the key combinations now for all the operations that we did right now it all had a shortcut key shortcut key or we also call them as key combination okay so uh, like for creating a document you can either go to file tab and click on new or you can simply open ms word and press ctrl n for saving a document you can again go to file tab and click on save as option but you can also just open ms word type your text and click on Control s the moment you will click on Control s automatically the save as dialog box will open likewise if you want to open your document then you can simply open ms word then go to file tab click on open and the open dialog box appears and you and then you select a file if you do not want to do that then you can simply open ms word and directly click on like directly press Control o from the keyboard once you do that automatically the open dialog box will appear and then you can select your file next is for closing a document for closing a document you can either go to file tab and click on close or you can simply press the key combination ctrl plus w likewise for closing ms word you can either directly go to file tab and click on exit ms word or you can click on alt f4 directly so these were the different key combinations that are very very useful whenever you have to do anything in ms word last but not the least if you really liked my video then please give it a thumbs up leave your comments in the comment section if you want me to cover up any new topic which is difficult for you to understand subscribe to my channel to learn more about new things so thank you so much